everyone and welcome to another honeymoon travel vlog this time we are in new york the time is let me just tell you 7 37 on saturday the 13th of april we landed at LaGuardia about an hour and a half ago i want to say and we just got a shuttle to our hotel we are staying at the citizen m hotel basically like right in Times Square. So I figured first things first, before we get it all messy, I will show you what the room looks like. So when you first walk in the door, you have a cupboard on the left hand side and a cupboard on the right hand side with some spaces to hang some of things. In this little glass room just here, you have the shower and the toilet and then the basin is just out here. Hello, that's me. And then you turn around. So this is still that like shower and toilet room. There's Nick and then there's the bed. And we have a cool view of Times Square, let me just <laughs> crawl over and show you. So there's a little bit of Times Square down there and you can't really see it because of the glare but also over there. So yeah, pretty cool view. The last little area that I haven't shown you is just this little like desk space over here which at the moment is just housing our suitcase. There is space underneath the bed to put the suitcases so I think we might just have to unpack a little bit and like get out the clothes that we want to have for the next few days and then put our suitcases away so we're not tripping over everything. Um, anyway, I think the plan right now is to maybe freshen up and then go to the Citizen M rooftop bar, um, maybe grab a few drinks, have a little bit of dinner or some snacks because we haven't really been eating that much today because we've just been traveling. We had like a two hour stopover in Chicago where we had like a little bit of lunch, but other than that, it's been a very long day of travel. Welcome to our first full day in New York City. The time is currently 7.45 and we are just about to go downstairs, have a quick bit of breakfast at our hotel, and then we're gonna to head to the Rockefeller Center. When we were in New York last time, a couple of years ago, we visited both the Rockefeller Center and the Empire State Building so we could like go up and see the views of New York. But for whatever reason, the way that it worked out, um, when we went up both of those uh, skyscrapers, it was dark, so we've seen the view from nighttime, but we also want to see it from the daytime. Um, and the Rockefeller Center opens at eight o'clock and it's only like a 10 minute walk from uh, our hotel. So we're gonna go there first and hope that the queues aren't too long. gorgeous I'm very glad we came here it's essentially like an old train track um, that they've now turned into like a really cool public walkway this is one of the things that we really wanted to do last time we we're in New York but because there was like a massive blizzard and snowstorm going on um, all of this was shut so we didn't actually get to come here fun little fact also about the High Line um, Nick told me that this is where he was initially planning on proposing to me but then in the end because this was shut he did it in Central Park which I think was perfect and it all worked out great but it's cool to like finally come here and actually see like what it is so it is 4 31 we have just gotten back to our hotel to recharge our phones and to have a bit of a chill out because we've already done 20,000 steps today, which has kind of been like between 15 and 20 has been our average uh, On this honeymoon. It's definitely good for my step count and like my goal of the year in terms of hitting 10,000 steps every day But also it means that my feet are hella sore. So we've come back for a little bit of a recharge before we uh, Go out for the evening, go out for dinner, do whatever we're gonna do. This camera is also going flat Which is why I haven't really filmed a lot today because I've been trying not to use up too much of the batteries so that I could still film whatever we were gonna do today um, so I'm also going to recharge this and I'll check back in with you guys later on today. So by recommendation of our friend Danny, we went to PN Woodfired Pizzas for dinner, which was really delicious. And they had a really cool thing, which I've never seen in a pizza place before, where you got to choose the dough that you want to have 
for your pizza so that was pretty cool and it was also super delicious today is the 15th of april um and our plan for today after we go and have breakfast is to head to central park because it is officially three months today since nick and i have been married and then two years one month since we were in central park last time and nick proposed so we thought of all days to go to central park today might be a kind of cool day to do it the weather looks like it has been raining looks like it has the potential to rain again so we might just take some rain jackets with us but yeah it should be a pretty fun day we're also going to go back to milk bar so if you watched our la video went to milk bar there for the very first time it was very exciting yesterday on our way i think it was to the highland we actually did pass a milk bar and we stopped and we bought some birthday cake truffles because they're quite nice um but yeah today i'm gonna go and get like a bunch of treats for my sister for my workmates and also just for me because i really love milk bar um and i think that's kind of our plan for this morning at least so yeah it should be a pretty fun day so this morning we walked to the love sign we're gonna also go and visit the hope sign but first of all we're gonna go to central park so we quickly popped into uh Tiffany's just to have a look and it was like a beautifully sunny day when we went into Tiffany's and then when we came out it was pouring with rain. We just got an Uber back to um, our hotel. It looks like the rain might die out within like an hour or so so we might just shelter in our room where it's warm um, and then hopefully we can go out again to Central Park later on this afternoon. If not we'll just take a brolly and jackets and we should be all good but yeah it's like super heavy rain. Guys we've made it to Central Park it stopped raining this is the rock that Nick proposed on. It looks real different, obviously, because it's not covered in snow, but I wasn't even sure which rock it was. Um, but we went and printed out the photo where I, like, I guess announced that we're engaged, and we're gonna take, like, another one of me holding this photo in front of the buildings, because it's a few new buildings since the last time we were here. If any of you have heard me talk about the engagement story, where at first I thought Nick was, like, falling rather than getting down on one knee, now you can kind of see why, because it's just, like, this big, rocky hill, and when it was covered in snow, I legit just thought he was falling over. We just subwayed out here this morning and we have just been having some coffee and walking around and now I think we're gonna walk back over the bridge. Last night we went to this cool little gin bar and met up with our friends Kaylee and Kristen and Danny. I didn't vlog any of it because I kind of just like forgot and was in the moment just chatting to them because I haven't seen any of those girls for ages. So it was really nice to catch up. Um, and yeah, today is our last day in New York. We have to leave the airport at like 3.30 this afternoon so we're just trying to squeeze in as much as we can before we have to go. So it's just gone 2.30 and we've just gone back to our hotel. Luckily, um, Citizen M allow you to have like a late checkout. I think you have to pay like a little bit extra, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and checkout is until like 6 p.m. So if you have like a late night flight, it's definitely good. So we opted to do that because our flight that we have tonight to Iceland is like an overnight flight. And we knew that we wanted to go and do stuff today. So it's cool to be able to like come back here, have a shower and then get ready for our like evening flight before we take off. With that being said though this kind of brings us to the end of our New York trip. All we're really gonna do now is like as I said get ready for the flight, pack our bags and then we have a shuttle picking us up in like just over an hour um, to take us to the airport because obviously being international we have to be there quite early. Um, so yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming back to New York with me. It's been really fun to be back and like 
I don't know, it feels kind of surreal because so much has changed in New York in the last like two years and obviously like for Nick and I so much has changed in our lives as well so it's really cool to like come back here and experience it in a different season in like a different way as well. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video be sure to keep an eye out for my Iceland video which will be coming next week and if you haven't seen uh, my Canada or my LA video they will already be up on my channel and yeah I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week and I'll catch you all later on. Bye!